Which rule did Callista Flockhart break that got her written off the show? Why do cast members have to have interviews pre-approved? And which rule did David Harwood say was the most difficult? Have your passport ready. Did you know that the superhero show was originally shot in Los Angeles? Yep, season one was filmed in sunny LA, but came with a rather expensive price tag as productions were a little pricier than producers had anticipated. So they moved the set to Vancouver, where the production costs were significantly lower. Lee, aka Alex Danvers, looks back on the move in an interview with Awards Daily saying, the stunts, the visual effects were skimmed down on episodes prior to these just so they have extra money in the budget. Unfortunately, not all of the Supergirl cast were willing to relocate to Canada for the sake of the show. This was especially true for Callista Flockhart, who played the role of Cara Danvers' boss, Cat Grant. It was for this reason that Cat Grant virtually disappeared from Supergirl. And in season three, Cat Grant seems to have been written out of the show completely. Her character being written off the show made one thing very clear to everyone on set. Moving for productions is an absolute must. Keep it clean. When it comes to talking about popular superheroes on TV, Supergirl is sure to come up. And that's for good reason too they're becoming household names. Which is great for the stars of the show that now have crazed fans who want to know everything about them. From glossy magazine covers to fun interviews and trips, success has definitely been a sweet reality for Supergirl. And even that takes some getting used to. Sometimes I sit down and I think about it, and my mind can't actually wrap around it. You know, Katie McGrath told TV Guide, but don't think that all of this glitz and glam doesn't come with a major responsibility. The network and its management have to approve all forms of publicity. In fact, in an attempt to protect the image of the network, any scandals that any of the Supergirl cast members get into means that they risk being removed from the show. And the pressures can admittedly be difficult, even for stars that have been in the limelight for a while. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Benoist shares how challenging upholding her image can be. I want to do right. Of course, this is a broad statement, but I want to do right by women. She told the outlet, and with Supergirl touching on a number of contemporary culture topics, like feminism and immigration to name a few, it's easy for these stars to get themselves in some rather hot water. Thankfully, the cast is well poised as they all continue to keep it squeaky clean while speaking to the press. Even when it comes to talking about more serious topics, Supergirl never shot away from issues that affect race or color, which is why it's such a pleasure working on the show, shared Harwood in an interview, meaning that while some of your favorites may enjoy portraying villains on screen, there will be no such thing off the set. And to be honest, we prefer it that way. Become the character. While many of us mere mortals would never have the guts to tell superheroes what to do, it seems that the CW network has no issue doing just that. Next up on their list of rules, ensuring that the actors stay in character at all times. That's right, if you are fortunate enough to be a DC hero, you are expected to take the role seriously, especially on the set of Supergirl. Your favorite superheroine isn't only pretending to watch over the skies when the cameras are rolling, she stays in protect mode all day. And this definitely has its upsides, as the cast really get to know their characters. In an interview with E! Online, the actress was quoted as saying, I know this show like the back of my hand. It almost feels like a second skin to me now. According to reports, the studio encourages all of the Supergirl cast members to really get under the skin of the characters that they play. Their motto? Play hard, work harder. And while staying in character may be easy for some of the cast members, for others, it proves to be a little more difficult. Chatting to Cinema Blend, David Harwood shared how this often poses a challenge for the actor. It's difficult because I'm playing somebody who I'm not through the use of CG. It can be a little bit of a frustrating character to play because it's never quite who you are, said the actor. So why are the producers so strict when it comes to this rule? Well, because portraying a superhuman character that is deeply loved by comic fanatics is no easy feat. It is therefore ideal that they maintain character to help keep their roles as believable as possible. And it seems this strategy is working for the cast, as we'd swear sometimes it felt like we were in National City. In an interview with the Direct, the actress went on to say that she doesn't mind staying in character, as it has, quote, been an honor portraying this iconic character. Seeing the incredible impact the show has had on young girls around the world has always left me humbled and speechless. And if there's anyone who fits the role of a timeless heroine, it's definitely Melissa Benoist. Stay in shape. The Supergirl cast don't just act like superheroes, they have to look like them too. Producers of the show insist that the cast members remain in tip-top shape 
throughout the production. According to the show's producer, Sarah Schechter, strength is a crucial part of the show, with the producer sharing, quote, what's important for us in Supergirl is that all the women on the show are really strong. And this means both emotionally and physically. All of the show's leading cast have to attend regular fitness sessions with professional trainers that help keep our favorite superheroes ready to kick butt at any moment. And while watching the heroine continuously save the day may look natural, portraying those fight scenes isn't always easy for Benoist. It can be challenging to be in the fight scenes and be authoritative. I have to remind myself, shoulders back and be strong. But it seems that even with a few bumps and bruises, they have all gone on to perfect those scenes, which only leaves us to believe that Melissa Benoist and the rest of the cast aren't just superheroes in front of the camera, but behind it too. The unsung heroes of fight scenes. Behind every superhero is an awesome stunt double. While we would like to think of our Supergirl cast members as being completely invincible, we often forget that they are in fact human. Yes, we've got a major spoiler alert for you. Sometimes your Supergirl cast members need a stunt double. After all, every hero has their kryptonite. It just so happens that this cast's kryptonite is unapproved stunts. Why? Because these scenes are rather dangerous to film. In fact, John Medlin, the show's stunt coordinator, shares that this show is taking fight scenes to a whole other level. It's just better than an average fight where you give someone a punch to the face and they stagger a couple of feet. It's much more enjoyable. Fight scenes on the set of Supergirl, therefore, require pre-approval by the studio. That's right, the actors are legally not allowed to choose their own stunts. But if you were to think about it, this rule kind of makes sense, as they have a number of high profile celebrities on the set. So in the event that they hurt themselves doing something dangerous, it could halt filming and potentially cost the production a lot of money. In order to save themselves from a headache and lawsuit, the network has hired some awesome stunt doubles. But that doesn't mean the actors can't have some stunt fun too. Kyler Lee shares that she loves it when she does get to do a few stunts. It's just been a whirlwind, all the stunts which I love doing. I have such a blast with that because I'm so not that in real life. Chatting about her stunt process, Benoist went on to say, whenever we do a big stunt, I'm still doing a lot. But what my stunt double Shauna does is really incredible. And she's a supergirl herself. With a fun blend of action adventures, we're happy to see that the cast is allowed to get their capes a little dirty. You are replaceable. Yikes! This may sound a little harsh, but it's definitely true for the cast of Supergirl. The show's producers are clearly not afraid to remove characters that don't abide by the rules. Which leads us to another on-set rule. The production team reserves the right to hire and fire as often as they wish. And while replacing or writing certain heroes on and off the show has some serious financial implications and often leaves gaps in the storyline, just know that CW is willing to do it. The show's actors are reminded to never stay stay too comfortable in their costumes, as conflicts or breaches of contract will result in these household names being scrapped from the show. Luckily, this cast knows how to stick to the rules, so you don't have to panic. Your favorites aren't going anywhere. Which rules do you think are over the top, and which ones do you agree with? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.